I should probably put my seatbelt on. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. It is Sophia, and today is September 25th, and we are going to the doctor's office to see if I can get my ears stitched. So when I was about eight, I got my ears pierced and decided to wear hoop earrings, and I got them like stuck on something, and it like tugged my ear. And like ever since then, my every time I would wear earrings, they'd like dangle down, and I've just been wanting my ears to be stitch, stitched back together. And today we're going in to see if they can do it, and then they'll probably reschedule us another appointment. So I will get back to you guys when we are there. They just finished asking us questions about my ears, and I'm literally so excited. I want it to be done today so bad, but it probably isn't going to be done today. What do you think? Do you think they're just going to look at it? I don't know. It would be nice if they could do it today, but mm -hmm. I, don't I don't think it would take that long. I don't know. Um. Alright, so we just got done, and we scheduled an appointment for October 9th. And we are doing my right ear, my right ear, and because my left ear isn't like as bad, but we'll see if they can like just re-pierce it and it would look normal. So we don't know, but I'm really excited. I've been waiting so long to get my ears stitched. So I will see you guys all on October 9th. You might have to come with me to so they just numbed my ear and the tissue just fell off and now I'm now I'm just bleeding and I'm scared I'm I'm actually terrified <laughs> I'm like and now this ear's like way more swollen than this ear no big deal so I just finished my appointment and my ear is so swollen and they bandaged 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 it up and it looks so funny but when they put the oh wait hold on sorry okay when they put the numbing cream in it or like numbing shot I can't even speak um it made my ears so swollen and I will put a photo up right here in a few seconds but if you don't like blood just skip over a couple seconds and it should be gone but here is the photo and they did great like they were super nice and they were like just talking to us just having a normal conversation because I was super psyched out about it and like my heart was racing and everything because I do not do good with needles at all and um, luckily I didn't like freak out when I got my needles and I'm still kind of like panicky yeah is it the this might be the anesthetic yeah but my mom will have to bandage this again tomorrow I think right and I thought it went great they were like super nice I yeah they were really funny too but I will keep you guys updated how it looks in the next few days and I will see you guys whenever I show you the update. Put on her ear. Okay. It's starting to hurt, so we are changing the bandage so I could ice it. Because when I put the ice pack on it, I literally couldn't feel it because I had so many layers of Is this cloth. supposed to be tape? Mm-hmm. Ew, so Gross. <laughs> that hurts so bad. <laughs> what is this? It's um, an antibiotic ointment. They gave us all of this stuff that my mom has to put on my ear. And it freaking <laughs> hurts. <laughs> 
I'm glad we didn't do both of my ears. I'm so glad we didn't. We were originally going to do both of my ears and I'm honestly very thankful we did not because I have no pain tolerance whatsoever. <laughs> so like, yeah, you are kind of a wimp. I really am, so. Your girl's leaving school. All right, it's been a couple weeks. Broke my arm. And now it's October 28th and I'm finally getting my stitches out. Um, we originally planned to get my stitches out like a week ago, last Thursday, last Thursday. but that didn't happen because I broke my hand and my mom was like, I'm just going to take it out. So she tried doing that, but then she realized the stitches were on too tight and now we have to go over there and get them done. And then we're going to the orthopedic surgeon to get me a cast. Um, I broke my hand while cheering. I caught a girl weird and her knee hit my hand and bent it back or something. I, you can't really see in the video, but I will not put in the video just for privacy reasons of the other people in the video. Um, but. Here's my x-ray, and a lot has happened. Huh, Mom? True. A lot has happened, like, in this week. Got stitches, and then broke my hand, so. So, I'm here, and I showed my nurse the video and you can just hear it pop and she's like that just hurt me <laughs> so i'm here for my ear and i am so excited because my stitches have been so irritating and they've been super itchy and i just hated it so hopefully we can get out here out of here in time for our next appointment if i can get my mask up all right so we just finished my stitches are officially off. It kind of just felt like shots, really. It only hurt for like a second and then it was done. But I've heard from other people that it's really painful, but honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was like quick and easy. But now we are on our way to the orthopedic surgeon, hopefully to get my cast and know when I can get back in and I will see you guys there. Right, so it is future me. I got my cast, I've had it on for a couple days now maybe, and I completely forgot to record anything at the orthopedic surgeon. But I did get my cast, and they told me that they think I have another fracture. They think I fractured my ring finger. My finger is black because all of the bruising. Um, we tried to get pictures of the bruising, but my mom's camera was not the best, and my phone did die. So I have to go back in two weeks, take this off, get new x-rays, and put it back on. Um... I will try to keep you guys updated. I will definitely post things on my Instagram if you want to follow me there. And thank you guys all for watching this hectic week of mine. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys all in my next video.